So next up, we've got Joel Johnston from Sony. Let's hear what they're doing. So Joel, Sony, what's Sony all about? What do you what's, guys make over there? Well, we make uh, these little video games. Oh, video games. Um, I think we have a video maybe we can just show you. Sure, why not? All right. I guess, who wants to get out of here and go play some MLB 14? Uh, uh, maybe that wasn't in the schedule, sorry. <laughs> um, so what the heck does uh, all, these, all these cool games, all the stuff you guys do at Sony, I mean, what does OpenStack have to do with that? What are you guys doing with OpenStack over there? Well, with OpenStack specifically, we are hosting the software that connects players online for our first party studios. And um, this software does anything from uh, player you know, matchmaking, to stats, to leaderboards, and uh, social media integration. Wow, OK. So it's an integral part of, of the gameplay. And what, what, I guess, you know, are the benefits to Sony for adopting OpenStack, trying to make that part of your platform that powers PlayStation 4? Uh, there are a number. Uh, right off the top, uh, virtualization in general, just the ability to use what we already have. Uh, we were able to take our existing uh, bare metal footprint and run OpenStack there, which just optimized our data center. Mm -hmm. uh, from the customer service perspective, I think the self-service aspect of it is probably uh, very impactful for the developers. We have developers around the world, um, so we're on a 24-7 schedule, but most of our support teams are here in the US. Uh, so a lot of the times in the past, we've had tickets that come in to provision servers, and that could take a couple hours couple days, just depending on the workload. Mm -hmm. Now these developers have this at, the, at their fingertips 24-7. So the developers internally that are making all these cool games, they're really your, your internal customers then? That's correct. That's so correct. You're helping them move faster and basically uh, make happier developers, makes better games? Absolutely. I think cool. another thing um, is from a performance perspective, you know, in the public cloud, some of our studios were having issues with just reliable performance. And bringing OpenStack in-house, we were able to do something to the nature of a one-to-one -one overcommit ratio. Mm -hmm. So they can really know what's under the hood. And when they have a problem, our engineering staff and our DBAs can get in and look at what the actual issue is and make sure that that real-time element of the gameplay is, is always there for them. That's cool. So in terms of you know, the gaming industry, we were talking earlier about you know, how every industry is being remade through software right now. I mean, I think some people were saying a year or two ago that the console is dead, you know, and, and PlayStation, you guys obviously didn't, didn't take that line down and you've, you've come out with this, this home run, no pun intended. Uh, PlayStation 4 sales are, are through the roof, it seems. So, you know, how has the console changed in this sort of cloud world or software world from, you know, maybe how we used to think of consoles? 
Um, I think the largest change is the fact uh, that the software and the games themselves, and obviously the quality is, is rising quickly, but you also have this level of integration with social media and the rest of the, the internet. Uh, I mean, you can play a game and, and click a button and immediately share video of what you just did in that game with the whole world. So I think that's uh, a pretty impressive change. So you're actually relying on your OpenStack powered clouds to, to power these experiences. So people can actually share their, their moment in the game so, so we're actually connecting people you know, from one basement to another all across America. Exactly. That's impressive. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we got to get them social somehow. That's right. You know, if OpenStack can be the way, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. So, so looking forward, you know, I was talking earlier about you know, looking at the next nine releases. Just, just we're always trying to hear from users about what's, what your wish list is. You know, I'm sure for, for OpenStack to continue to be strategic to Sony, Mm -hmm. um, you want to see some things. You want to see uh, you're here, you're engaged in the community, going to sessions. I mean, what are the, some of the things that you're advocating while you're here in town? I think the, there's really one main thing with a, a couple of spires off of the, of the, the hub. Um, primarily, it's in-place upgrades. Um, getting from version to version in OpenStack, I think that's a level of maturity that we're, we're still waiting to see. Um, I know you can do it with Nova, um, but I, when I say in-place upgrades, I'm talking about being able to um, you know, go from Nova Network to Neutron, and yeah. then from Neutron to whatever's next, mm -hmm. and, and, and the storage space is the same kind of thing. Um, you know, it's that maturity that allows us to imp, you know, do our upgrades in place and not disrupt our studio's workloads. So that way you can really take advantage of those next however many releases. And you know, I know a lot of people are, are here working hard on Neutron and working on you know, uh, the bridge to get you there. And, and so um, it's, it's certainly a theme that we've, we've heard quite a bit. So I appreciate you being a, a super user you know, to us. It's all about contributing in different ways. And coming out here is, is a great way to do it. So, so thank you very much. Glad to be here. All right. Thank you very much. All right. All right.